Welcome to the VST Variant Space Tech channel. This is my Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus with the Exynos 2100 version. Let me show you something guys. I'm gonna open Galaxy Store and it's gonna be a feast today. 13 updates, it's gonna be really a feast. New calculator, new game launcher, new Samsung Notes, call and text on other devices. But see, Thermal Guardian, Battery Guardian, Memory Guardian. All right, um, file guardian, keyboard, content center, Samsung core services, and a new version of the Samsung Health Monitor. But do you pay attention? There is something called Good Guardians. What is this? Let me open. Good Guardians, the new name of Galaxy Labs. All right, so you know Galaxy Labs. I have been promoting Galaxy Labs a lot on my channel. I'm using it every time I do update my firmware, not only right to boost my performance and really try even to set up my terminal so that I'm getting also a bit more sustained performance and I probably also some peak performance. You can check all my videos here that are related with how I'm using Galaxy Labs and now Samsung rebranded it and now they call it the Good Guardians. And honestly, do I like this? Uh, hmm, yeah, let me show sure you something. Sounds a bit like the Avengers, guys. Probably also a bit more like the Guardians of the Galaxy, but anyway, now Galaxy Lab is gone and we have something called the Good Guardians. There are a lot of new things, let's check them out. The battery tracker adds average battery usage and screen online for seven days. Battery Guardian adds more features to extend the battery life. Screen power saving, power saving during bedtime, optimized settings that use a lot of battery power and more from One UI 3.0 and that's quite nice. Thermal Guardian and Memory Guardian are added from One UI 3.0, so I had it already, right? File Guardian will end the service sequentially due to the expanded trash function for Samsung apps not supported from new models, all right. So apparently they added some new things, some of the old things are gonna go away. But let's check some of the other updates. Calculator, now change lock, game lock, performance improvement and bug fixes. Games can now automatically group together, there is no need to waste your time, okay. Samsung Notes, treat image as text, anchor the text, option to anchor images to text provided, adjust highlighted transparency, configuration list of frames with the same height, call and checks on other devices, you notice, know right? If you have two devices running, one UI 3, one, you can potentially transfer calls back in two. And then down below, we have all the applications from Galaxy. Galaxy Labs. Let me open Galaxy Labs. Boom. New Galaxy Lab version available. Would you like to update it? Okay, I'm gonna press update. All right, and I'm going to install right now the so-called Good Guardians. So here we are hitting that update button. Let's try to see what Samsung did with the Galaxy Labs. Let's try to see what new things can we find in these Good Guardians. Honestly guys, do you like the name? All right. I am a bit more like, uh, yeah, Galaxy Labs really sound better, but I can understand Samsung because they have Galaxy Labs also inside the gallery and etc. and etc. So probably that's why they decided to call these the Good Guardians. If you're here for the first time, you might want to check some of my other videos and probably subscribe for my channel. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Now, without any further ado, I'm going to hit that open button. So let's see, Good Guardians Agent, Samsung Electronics. Good Guardians agent saves your device memory if Good Guardians and inner apps don't work properly. Now this makes me think potentially they added something that will be resident into the memory and will try to auto optimize your memory usage. Let's see that one. Open. Okay. Good Guardians. We have the battery tracker. We have the battery guardian. We have the Galaxy App Booster. We have the Terminal Guardian and we have the Memory Guardian. And you can just see all of this besides the Galaxy App Booster require updates. How does this update happen? You need to click here on this link. You're gonna get guided back to the Galaxy Store where you need to click update and then boom. As easy as it is, you're gonna get all the updates. All right, everything up and running. Let's do a quick check. Battery tracker. All right, battery level, screen on, and that's the new thing, right? Last seven days, okay, this is quite nice. If you go to about, you can see it is the latest version, okay? So from battery tracker, guys, you are able really to follow up your usage. So you have now the battery level, and you have also the screen on. So battery level here, green indication, screen on, yellow indication. That's, I think, a nice option. You can do this for the last 24 hours, and you can do this for the last seven hours. And when you click on an application, you can go and see the settings, how much it was active, and etc. and etc. Battery Guardian. Now they said they put some new things here. Screen power saving is one of the new functionalities. Optimize the battery usage on the display, right? So let me click here, okay? Screen power saving. 
When screen is not used, enter dim mode quickly and keep dim until screen timeout. All right, let's get started. Okay, it's on. Power saving during bedtime. Extend battery life by automatically optimizing and limit performance during sleep. Why not? And then you can set up your sleep time. Now, in my case, I'm just going to set up something like 00. zero. Usually about that time I'm going to bed. Okay, and then you have also extend battery life by optimizing settings that use a lot of battery power. Inside, of course, you have the option to turn on the dark mode to tweak up the motion smoothness and the screen timeout. Now, I have it set up for two minutes just because I'm doing these videos, right? But from here, you can go to 60 hertz and you can limit it down to like 30 seconds, which probably makes a bit more sense. All right, Galaxy App Booster was not updated, so let's not touch it. Thermal Guardian, all right? Now, you can see already in the Thermal Guardian, I have upped my thermal threshold with two degrees Celsius. And I'm proving in one of my videos that I'm getting a bit better performance because my phone is able to run at higher temperatures and maintain stability levels when, let's say, testing it or gaming it. So let's say throttling now is not so much. Still the same setting inside, nothing really new, okay? CPU level, threshold, all the same. And last but not least, we have Memory Guardian, okay? Total use memory. From here, the first dashboard, the monitor, you can see all the applications using your memory, right? And now we have some specific colors. If you go to history, you can understand what those colors mean. So the system is marked with red, all running right now, yellow, all cached in the memory is marked with the blue, and the gray one is the available memory. If you go back to monitor and you press clean now, your phone is gonna get optimized, right? And now our phone is optimized. Now, if you go out and sign in again to Memory Garden, you're gonna see some of those applications running again because they are important and they will auto start. In nutshell, this is the update for Galaxy Labs. New name, new options to save on your battery. Really hope that you have enjoyed this video, guys. If that's the case, don't forget to hit the like button, right? And also subscribe to the channel if you wanna do so. If you do so, greatly appreciate it. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. With that said, BST, over and... Bye.